We say we're the fools and the sinners The jokers and the killers It's just our way You toss a rock and you break a window And toss a feather up And watch the wind You can float on the wind for so long And someday, honey, you've got to come back down And when you do, I'll be hanging around Smells like smoke in here And the piano doesn't play It never did And there's this feeling I get When you're in the room I want you to You can float on the way so long Someday, honey, you've got to come back down And when you do, I'll be hanging around And you can float on the way so long Someday, honey, you've got to come back down to your mother Oh lady the best they could And bleed for your brother Cause Lord knows that they would <laughs> but I can't tell falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Would it be? Like a river flows surely to the sea.
darling, so it goes Some things are meant to be Take my hand Take my heart Like a river flows Surely to the sea Darling, so it goes Some things are meant to be Take my hand Take my heart Michelle to be your wife, would you give her the honor due to her as your wife and forsaking all others, love and protect her as long as you both shall live? I do. Great. Michelle, do you take Alex to be your husband? Would you give him the honor due to him as your husband and forsaking all others, love and protect him as long as you both shall live? I do. That was two very strong yeses. <laughs> Hmm. May I ask who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to say your vows to each other. I, Alex, take you, Michelle, to be my wife. I, Alex, take you, Michelle, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. <laughs> from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow and promise. This is my solemn vow and promise. Well done. <laughs> Michelle. I, Michelle, take you, Alex, to be my husband. <laughs> I, Michelle, take you, Alex, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. <laughs> from this <laughs> from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for poorer. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. With tears of joy. <laughs> With tears of joy. <laughs> this is our son of vow and promise. This is my solemn vow and promise. Well done. You did amazingly. <laughs> well done. Could I ask uh, the ring bearer um, to bring this rider? Ryder, could you give Michelle's ring to Alex, please? Yes. And you can hold the box, Ryder, and just stay there. You step aside, Ryder. Thank you. Right. And Alex, would you like to slip the ring onto Michelle's finger? Hold the ring and hold her hand. And will you repeat after me to Michelle? Michelle, with this ring, I marry you. Michelle, with this ring, I marry you. And I declare my love for you. And I declare my love for you. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Great. Ryder, could we have Alex's ring to Michelle? And Michelle, thanks Ryder, you can go sit down now, thank you. <laughs> we 
do a feed after me, Michelle. I, uh, Michelle, take you, Alex, to be my husband. I, uh, Michelle, take you, Alex, to be my husband. Sorry, I've got the wrong name. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, with this ring, I marry you. Alex, with this ring. <laughs> I marry you. And I declare my love for you. And I declare my love for you. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Great. Would you bow with me as we pray together? Let's pray. Oh, please pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this incredible occasion, the marriage of Alex and Michelle. Thank you for their love for each other. Thank you for your love for them. And we pray that today you bless them officially with an incredible relationship for the rest of their lives. Bless them with a lovely family. And Lord, we thank you that they are so good for each other. And we pray that you'd guide them, direct them, bless them. May they enjoy this marriage so incredibly. Thank you for their relationship over the past 14 years. And Lord, thank you for their families that have contributed so much to these lives over so many years. Bless them as well. Lord, we pray for this whole group of lovely folk here today, that each one may just know your presence in a wonderful way, have a lovely celebration today, and get home safely. And every marriage represented here, we pray you bless and nurture. But here we are today for Alex and Michelle. We pray your blessing upon them, grant them your encouragement and your protection and your blessing in the future, right through their lives. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Alex and Michelle have witnessed to their mutual consent before this group of witnesses. They have confirmed it by the giving and receiving of rings and by the joining of hands, which you need to still do and keep holding hands. Never let go. Okay. <laughs> I therefore pronounce them husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Let's rewind Do you remember when we first moved in together The piano took up the living room You play me boogie woogie, I play you love songs You'd say we're playing house, now you still say we are We built our ghetto way up in we found we felt so far away but we were still in town now i remember watching that old tree burn down i took a picture that i don't like to look at well all these times they come and go and alone don't seem so long over ten years have gone by we can't rewind Locked in time, but you're still mine. Do you remember? Follow the time and 
be my soul Look in these eyes like no one before And be my light Sunrise laughing cause we stayed up all night Be my map And we'll leave with all the treasure we can grab Be my lake Summer sand and a strawberry milkshake Be my pride Stay under my skin Don't let me take what is not mine Be my house Strong and sturdy Far from town Be my home Think of all the places we'll go Be my lake Summer say And a strawberry milkshake Be my pride Stay under my skin Don't let me take what is not mine Be my house Strong and sturdy Far from town Be my home Think of all the places we'll go And be my blood Or oh, I shoot the moon Wouldn't be enough And be my books Head on your shoulder With damn good looks And be my hands And I'll paint your picture, darling The best I can And be my heart And I've got you in the end Wish I had you from the start A million 
back at you Believe me when I say this I was giving up But now you come and save me Ooh. And I know, and I know It's a different love Ooh. And I know, and I know That you make me better Ooh. It's a love that will keep me holding on Finally, we're going to go into some speeches. Um, you'll see that there are bottles of champagne on all of your tables for toasting during the speeches. Obviously, that's going to happen. And um, we're going to go into that as quickly as possible. Nobody's here to listen to me talk. So, as is tradition with weddings, obviously, you know, we, we want to hear from, from the bride's father. So, Richard, Richard, we all know Richard. Um, he's a pretty good dad. And uh, Richard, if you'd like to come up and have a chat to us, that would be great. Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome. Thank you for joining us on this special day. Uh, I have to get used to this mark, but yeah, thank you for joining us on this special day uh, <clears throat> to be here with Alex and Michelle in their marriage. Um, I think a lot of you guys have traveled far and you've made the effort to be here, and we thank you very much for taking the time out and making this day I want to, uh, to remember. Um, yeah, so thank you for making the effort and let's make this day I want to remember. I'd like to start the speech by having a drink because I desperately need one, <laughs> as you can tell. But I'd like you all to join me in raising a glass and I'd like to toast each and every one of us here tonight and all of those that could not be with us here tonight. And especially Alex and Michelle for allowing us the opportunity to join, the, join them on this special day. And um, we certainly could all do with the party, I suspect, after the last year or two of, of hecticness. So without further ado, cheers everyone. Yeah. Cheers. Right. So I'm not a parrot. I will be reading most of this tonight, <clears throat> but it still comes from the heart, which is from my wife and I. Um, I'll be starting pretty much by saying a few words of thanks to the people that have helped put this day together. I think we can all agree this place is looking beautiful. All you people are looking beautiful. Alex and Michelle are looking unbelievable. And so far the day has been absolutely awesome. So. Yes, thank you to everyone that's been involved. Firstly, um, if I do pronounce your name wrong while I'm going through the list, I will forgive your parents. Um, <laughs> secondly, if I forget to mention your name, uh, speak to Debbie, she wrote the speech, okay? So, <laughs> don't blame me, don't shoot me, okay? Right, guys, um, I think a super, very, uh, very special thank you has to go to Debbie, uh, Sonia, Cash, Tanya, Sash, Alex, and Michelle. Um, you guys have done an absolutely amazing job for today. Um, really outstanding. I think unless you have been, um, unless you have prepared a wedding yourself, you will not appreciate the effort and the love that's gone into today. So thank you so much, you guys. 
Karen for her draping and lights and coordinating of the day. Greatly appreciated, thank you. Shane's staff for the lovely venue, support and magic memories that will be created today and all being created. A special thanks to Ryan and Mo, where are you guys, somewhere here, uh, for collecting all the plants, the flowers, the cake stand. Uh, the place is looking stunning, guys. So thank you, thank you so much, awesome. Chloe, for that amazing wedding cake that you've made us today. Um, absolutely unreal, thank you, Chloe. We'll be tucking to that later, apparently. So thank you, guys. Um, Bridget, Bianca, and the waiters, thank you for the delicious food that we'll be eating shortly. Much appreciated, I'm sure that's gonna be great. Gary, our DJ, uh, for the music that you'll be playing for us tonight. We're looking forward to a good party, so thanks for that. Shanae for the photos, Tracy and Sean for the videography. I think you guys possibly have the most difficult job yet today, um, so no pressure. But yeah, thanks, thanks in advance for that. Shane for being MC today, but um, where are you? Yeah. yeah, massive task, but of course you're on top of it, so thanks so much, I really appreciate it. And then a very special thanks has to go to Sash uh, for going above and beyond for her above and beyond, and being there for Alex and Michelle throughout this all. So, Sash, massive thank you. <clears throat> yes. Okay, guys, it's a, it's a great part of the time again. Let's all raise a glass and toast them all. Cheers. 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 Cheers to all of you. Thank you so much. Right, um, so with all the thanks out of the way and the reason we're actually here today for Alex and Michelle, Mr. and Mrs. Barbosa. <laughs> Have you been called that yet, Mish? Uh, yes. A few times. <laughs> well, that's cool. I'd like to say a few words about the couple tonight. Um, yeah. Funny sense of humor I've got, but anyway. I could be out by a few days or months or years, but can you believe these guys have been going out since 1965? <laughs> okay, so. I'm obviously out, I'm obviously out there a little bit, but you know what, I've got such a good memory with dates, that I know they've actually been dating since the 14th of March 2012. Now I know you've been going out for longer, oh, you've known each other for longer than that, but you've been going out since then. And that's amazing, you guys are still here today. Um, I think Michelle was barely out of nappies, and... Alex just had his first ear pierced. <laughs> <laughs> the fact is, here they are today, nine years later, making the commitment to each other for sure, and that's great. We have to give them credit for this, as they've already been through, they've already endured some of life's ups and downs. Us as parents, with many, many years under our belt, many, many years, we are all too aware of the massive mountain of life that lies ahead of us. <clears throat> but watching them grow up together, navigating, persevering, and loving each other dearly, we are heartened by the fact they built a solid foundation and will be rock solid in their marriage together. I think we can all agree they are meant to be. So, Alex, my boy, welcome to the family. <laughs> with all its ups and downs and pros and cons. It's too late now, my boy, you stuck with us. <laughs> Your last chance is gone. <laughs> we are truly blessed and thankful to have you as our son-in-law. <clears throat> Excuse me. We love your passion for life, your integrity, your quiet strength, your family principles, 
and most of all, your absolute love of our daughter. Without doubt, you have played an integral part of Michelle blossoming as a woman. And it gives us great joy to see our, our, our baby celebrating life with you. We have no doubt that you'll be there for Michelle through thick and thin. And as parents, this is all we could ask for. Your fun-loving, easy-going ways is sometimes questionable. <laughs> but we would have it no other way. As long as you keep jamming your guitar for us and keeping our daughter happy, we will be, for, we will be there for you. So welcome to the family. Now for the easy part. Michelle, my bell. Mishmash. My baby, yeah, I'm reading this, but it's, it's, yeah, you really do look like a princess tonight. You look absolutely beautiful. I think it is obvious to all of us that the happiness radiating from you today is that you finally have your dream partner as your husband and to share the rest of your life with. With a quiet determination, you have always achieved what you have set your heart on and done it your own way. In your short 27 years, you have, accom you have accomplished great things. Whilst retaining, retaining your dignity, your pride, your soft touch, your hard laugh, and your love of life. So most of you know Michelle, some way or another, but not like Devin Ardi, obviously. I think her first words were, the first word she muttered was, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and she, she, she actually used the finger, but it was this one. <laughs> nah, nah. She was pretty cheeky. That should have given us a clue as to what was to come. This little bundle of joy had a mind of her own. As she grew up, it became obvious that she was politely ignoring us and doing her own thing. <laughs> so we changed our tack and did less, less parenting and more supporting and slowly watched this young lady grow. As the years went by, we realized, in fact, that she had been listening and learning and in her own quiet way had adopted our values and advice and applied it to her life to become the beautiful woman we all know today. For this, we are very proud and blessed as parents. So thank you. Anyway, Mish, we are all truly happy for you and that you get to spend the rest of your life with your best friend. We know that you will be an amazing wife to Alex and can't wait for those baby bulboses to be running around. <laughs> so no pressure. <laughs> I'm nearly done, guys. <laughs> Alex and Mish, you both have such a love of life, and we just want to wish you all the very best for your future together. Please all stand up and join us. Please all stand up and join us in a toast to wish the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Barbosa, Cheers to your happiness and your future together. We absolutely love you all. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, before I get kicked off, one last thing. Apparently, um, Alex brought his Michael Jackson shoes with him tonight. <laughs> and he's going to be throwing a few dance moves on the floor for us later. So, knowing Alex like I do, there's no excuse, guys. I want to see everybody on the dance floor tonight, and let's have a massive party. Thank you. Well done, Rich. That was fantastic. Um, you're outstanding, man. It's nice to hear from you. Um, yeah, so as Richard was saying, you know, Alex has been around for a long time, a very long time. Um, and I think he's become integrated into our family that we kind of 
we forget that there's, there has to be a wedding because Alex has been part of our family for a long time. And part of that is Alex's group. So we've heard about you know, Alex's friend group for a long time. And I'd therefore like to invite Eugene, who we know fairly well, to come up and have a chat to us. So I'm going to try and not make my speech too very long. I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Got my Molly's here with me. He's gonna help me out. <laughs> yeah, shot. Sure. Yeah, this, this would help a lot, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, let me actually just get my speech out. I just wanna. <laughs> Short and sweet, I say. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eugene, I'm the best man. Um, we've been, <laughs> so we've been friends since, or Alex and I have been friends since um, I can last remember, and never imagined one day that I would actually be standing here giving a speech, like, honestly, like, I'm so afraid, <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> But anyway, let's just jump into this. Um, before I start telling you a story or embarrassing stories about Alex, um, I just want to say that Alex had no easy uh, decision in choosing his best man. First he called his most successful friend, who said no. Then he called his smartest friend, who also said no. <laughs> then he asked his most uh, what? attractive man, a friend, and also said no. Then he called me, and I said, Alex, I can't say no to you four times. <laughs> anyway, I've known Alex for 12 years, basically lived with the Barbosas, the Barbosa family. Um, I used to, I would go to school, finish school, and Friday, literally, after I finished school, I go straight to Alex and them's house and spend my whole weekend there. And it, it got so bad at one point that my mom even said, why don't you just live with them? Like, just move out of my house, please. <laughs> um, over the years, um, Alex, Michelle and I have um, gone on many camping trips together. But out of all the camping trips we've been on, there is one I will never forget. We were at a dam on a rainy New Year's Eve. Uh, after spending the whole day fishing and having some beers, Alex and Michelle decided to disappear for a while. <laughs> so after a long time, uh, I see Alex is walking down towards our camp. And he asked me, he's like, hey bro, would you not mind come helping us out? Uh, my car's stuck, the battery's flat. And at that time, Alex had uh, quite a bit of sound in his car, so that drained his battery quite a hell of a lot. Um, so, so as I, I went up with Alex, I arrived to the scene and... <laughs> I noticed... I noticed they weren't like anywhere near the bathrooms or anything. So oh, to me already, that's like quite a thing. It's like, hey, you're nowhere near the bathrooms. Where are you going? So they parked under this lonely tree. Things got romantic. And uh, yeah, I guess we can all see where that kind of went. So obviously, Alex was listening to music and yeah, got a bit romantic. <laughs> well, anyway, after that day, I knew if if they ever needed to call me, like that could have been the most embarrassing thing that they've ever done. So they can call me now any time. It can't get any worse than that. <laughs> but anyway, I can go on about Alex, um, more of his like funny stories and include some of the stupid and embarrassing things that he's done. But instead I'd rather focus on all the smart, smart moves he's made. His friendships, his family, um, the relationship with his family, uh, his career. It's also, what? It's, it's all a reflection of the incredible man that he's become. 
But really, the smartest movie he's ever made is Marrying Michelle. <laughs> like I said earlier, I know Alex, I've known Alex for 12 years, and in that time, uh, Michelle has been around for even longer than that. So, there's no reason why they should not be married. Um, so, Michelle, you look lovely tonight. And Alex, you look sharper than ever. <laughs> And we all wish you a lifetime of happiness, love, health, and success, and laughter. Thank you guys very much. <laughs>
You could not have raised us any better, and I will use these values you have taught me in raising Michelle and our children one day. <laughs> One day in the near future, one day hopefully very soon. Yeah. <laughs> I would like this toast to go to my parents. Yeah. Alright, next I would like to thank, we would like to thank the bridal party. Maid of Honor, Sasha, bridesmaids, Natasha and Tanya. Wow, you three look absolutely beautiful tonight. I'm sure everyone here agrees. Thank you for all that you have done in planning and preparation for this day. You have truly made this day so special for us. You have been there and supported Michelle right from the start. We are blessed to have three sisters like yourselves. We love you and we thank you endlessly. the bridesmaids. Cheers. Might as well keep the glass with me. <clears throat> right, my groomsmen, James and Dino, and best man Gino, thank you for being here today and having my back. All three of you look on point today. I can proudly say that I can always rely on you three guys no matter what. We will definitely celebrate after a few whiskeys on the rocks later. Do you know my best man? Thank you for always being there and supporting myself and Michelle. We have such good memories shared together over the years, right back from the start of Michelle and I's relationship. You have always been a great friend that we can rely on. Thank you for all that, and I'm proud to call you my best man. <laughs> to Eugene and the groomsmen. I'd like to say a thank you to the little flower girls, Morgan and Ava. You two are just too precious. You both look so cute and beautiful today. <laughs> and our ring bearer, and our ring bearer, Rada, thank you, boy. You are just the coolest ring bearer there could ever be. How proud to you. <laughs> A big special thanks to the Master of Ceremony, Shane. Thank you, you've done a very, very good job so far. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry that we put the burden on your shoulders, but really we could not have found anybody else to be not... Okay, sorry, that's wrong. Could, we could not have found anybody better to MC for us. Cheers, <laughs> so, Shane. Everyone else have contributed to the planning and decor of the wedding. Thank you all very much. Like Simone and Ryan, I'd like to thank you. You both helped with gathering the pompous grass from the farm and growing some of the succulents for the gifts. We are grateful for that. Thank you very much. And a big special thank you to Chloe for baking our wedding cake. Uh, myself and Michelle have tasted it already and truly it, it does taste really good. Thank you so much and it looks beautiful. You know, the amount of planning that goes into a wedding is just crazy. There are so many things to organize and consider to make a day like today happen. Although it's so easy as a man, the wedding just seems to plan itself. And before you know it, <laughs> the day is here and everything just works out perfectly. You know, today really did work out perfectly. I'm so happy to get to marry my best friend, my soulmate, the love of my life, my wife. You look drop dead gorgeous today. Your dress is stunning. The sight of you walking down that aisle towards me today is so clear in my head. And damn, that is a beautiful sight to remember. I am the luckiest man. <laughs> We have a special relationship, we do everything together, and that is one of the many reasons that make our relationship so great. 
We share our hobbies together, whether it be fishing, diving, kayaking, motocross riding, mountain biking, camping and hiking, trips to the dam with the boats, my list can go on. No matter what hobby or adventure we get into next, we do it together. You are right there by my side, enjoying every moment with me. And dare I not say, when it comes to the fishing, you are the one that seems to always catch the bigger fish than me. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can say that I've taught you, so you, it's because you learn from the best. <laughs> My wife, I appreciate everything that you do have done for me over all these years. Thank you for all the great memories we have created together, all the joy you have brought into my life, and I thank you in advance for all the special memories still to be made, for all the joy still to come. I cannot wait to see what chapters unfold in our marriage. But at the same time, I hope the, time, I hope the time goes far slow so we can enjoy and cherish every moment to the fullest. My wife, I love you to the bottom of the ocean and back. I will love you and look after you forever. I will remind myself every day of the vows I took today and I will live by them always. You worked so hard in preparation to this day, all the stress but excitement at the same time. I hope it was and is, I hope it was and is, all, the, all that you ever dreamt of. <laughs> I'd like this toast to go to my beautiful bar. Cheers. We've had such a beautiful day today. I loved your dress. You look beautiful. Love you, Shao. And Adi. Love you, Adi. Hey, Mitch! We just wanted to say congratulations and we love you so much. And today has been beautiful. Hey, Mitch and Alex. I just want to wish you guys the best and most beautiful marriage and just full with loads of love happiness and just the best adventures and memories. I love you guys millions and thank you for having us here. We love you. Alex, Michelle, match made in heaven. Uh, you guys are beautiful. We love you and uh, okay. have a great future together. All the best. Hi Michelle and Alex, congratulations on the wedding. You look so stunning today and all the best for the future. We are going to play a little bit of a game tonight and I suspect we're going to get some people in trouble. What we're going to do is we're going to figure out how well Alex and Michelle know each other and um, I suspect we're going to get Alex in trouble but that's cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask each of you to take your shoes off and each of you is going to need one shoe of the other person's in each hand. So in other words, Alex you need one of Michelle's shoes and one of your shoes and vice versa. And then you need to take the other shoes off as well, guys. You both, you both need a shoe in your hand. Come on, it's your day. You should know what's going on, surely. All right, guys. This is this is how this is going to work, right? So you've known each other for a long time, what 14 years now, and uh, we're going to we're going to put you to the test about how well you know each other. So I'm going to ask questions. And each of you need to answer without knowing what the other one's going to do. And you need to raise the shoe of the person that you think is true. And um, I'm going to need everybody to get involved because I can't do this on my own. So let's get a little bit rowdy because we're getting on in the evening. The microphone hates me. Okay, so, so we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to start with the first question, right? So Alex and Michelle, who's the better driver? So we're at a standoff so far. Okay. <laughs> I, I suspect, okay, question number two, I suspect I know the answer to this one, but if you, sometimes you get surprised, eh? Who takes longer to get ready, guys? <laughs> I 
definitely didn't see that coming. To be I don't know who wrote these questions, but you guys are trying to call it divorce, right? Who's caught the biggest fish? <laughs> and, I mean, obviously you guys know each other, right? So now we're getting into the home stuff. We know that you guys have been living together a while now, and you know each other pretty well. Who's Nita? Who's 
Okay, that's big, right? That's big. Right. So if you were stranded on a desert island, who would last longer? Yeah? <laughs> And then last one we're gonna do all oh, cheapest. You guys are trying to pull a spot, right? <laughs> Who loves Marty more? Oh. Oh. Oh.